<clears throat> okay, it looks like we're live. Uh, it looks like we're live on YouTube, and I'm trying my new camera setup. I'm so excited. My son Mario is here. Hey, Mario, your stuff's in the microwave, buddy. Just just push that button. Uh, push it once or twice. Just feel, just feel if it's hot enough. Hey, good morning or good afternoon, guys. Hello. It's our noon. Sorry about missing yesterday. Um, I have a whole new camera set up here. It's really interesting. I got two cameras and I have them labeled. I'm going to get, uh, this is so cool. So I can get a, a much easier, bigger picture to draw on for YouTube and Facebook simulcasting. Um, I'm not sure how the, how the sound is coming across here. My microphone's blinking for some reason. How's Facebook sound coming on guys? Um, uh, hi, Diane. Hey, how's, how's the sound on uh, Facebook? I, my microphone's blinking and I've never seen it do that before. I'm going to, I'm going to do something. I'm going to mute it. All right. Now I just wondering why is my, how's it sound Diane Kelly on Facebook? Uh, YouTube. I uh, look at this. I actually can see the, uh, YouTube. Hello there, Mr. Scott. How are you? And Emma. A5, V5. So, oh my goodness, we have YouTube going. Let's check on Facebook. Sounds great for Facebook. So let's get going. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I hope you saw on uh, Saturday's edition, we did a really special uh, program. We were worked with, I love my little NASA magnet, my giant NASA magnet. We worked with NASA Team Artemis. The Team Artemis, the mission to the moon. Did anybody see that? We did an hour uh, pen pencil power special with NASA artist Jack Moore and NASA educator Patricia, Patricia Moore. And we had a special guest artist from the um, Artemis program. And it was so cool. We did this, this drawing. Did you guys have a chance to see it? I hope you did. It was so much fun. We drew the, the Orion spacecraft, the spacecraft that... Uh, the Artemis team is designing to go back to the moon. So if you haven't seen that yet, and no, look at I this is this is probably the the most embarrassing but funny thing that I did live is I misspelled. I'm I I'm spelling counts. I'm a big proponent of spell right, spell correctly, but I have I have a very difficult time with this whole SC the combination thing going on license. I've misspelled that so many times. And I didn't realize it until I got a. I posted this picture from the lesson, and I got a text back <laughs> saying, "I was like, oh my gosh, it was too late. It was too late to change it because I had already committed to it, right? Isn't that funny? Well, Emma from Scotland said she loved the the NASA show. That's so that's so wonderful. I love that, and uh, I love my new setup. You guys, I can see." I have a whole giant monitor for Facebook and all your comments. And over here, I have a whole giant monitor for YouTube. I don't, I'm not, I'm not using my phone. I used to, I used to ha have to hook, do this and draw. I had like a tripod, right? And I had to reach my hand in the middle of the tripod to, for the camera. And that, that was, I was, you know, the camera cells on this. And I can just put that aside now because now I have two cameras right above i'm so excited then you can get all get a clear a clear picture of my dry very dry scaly hands so uh i do hope that you go to the go to youtube would everybody go first of all would everybody subscribe to youtube for me and would everybody uh watch that and make comments and send hashtag art right here send your drawings i really want to get you know, a couple thousand of you drawing views on YouTube. Go to YouTube, check out my, you know, subscribe to my channel. And let's see, I have my handy reference here. Go to YouTube, subscribe to my channel. Also, please go post your pictures to uh, my Instagram page and also to uh, my Facebook, okay? All right, guys, here we go. We're going to draw today. Let's jump right into it. Um. We're going to draw for our hour of pencil power. The eyes have it. The eyes have it. I'm very excited about that, our hour of pencil power. So let's get going. Of course, if you don't have a copy of my book, 
please go to your favorite online retailer and buy 10 copies. Why not? Woohoo! Now, this is my new book coming out. My new book right here, The Hour of Pencil Power, Surviving COVID Quarantine with Creativity. This is going to be such a cool book. If you order it, um, I'm going to send you via email a, a free PDF. This is just a mock-up, but to show you what it looked like once you printed it, of all the different pages in the book. Now, to order this, you go to my website, and you click the icon that looks like that. You go to my front home page, and it'll be 50% off. And thank you for your support. It's so cool. We'll talk more about that later, because I keep dropping all my art cards here. And so now i got to pick them up. All right. Oh, one last thing. I know I want to start drawing, but I'm so excited. This summer, uh, uh, I can't, the, 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 uh, the, um, virtual fine arts camp. Ooh, is it that cool? If you guys are interested in the uh, summer fine arts camp, uh, I am so excited about this. I hope you guys. Decide to come now. These these drawing lessons, um, I'm uh, scheduling these to these hour pencil powers to end in June, and then I'm going to click into my several hours a day of my virtual fine arts camp, and it's a really great price. It's a, for the whole family. I hope you guys register. Go to markkistler.com and and please do register. Let me see if I can get that there. All right, I'm gonna let's start drawing. The eyes have it. This we're gonna do a couple of these eyes here. Uh, the, we're going to draw this eye, and we're going to draw these, this eye. This was inspired by the movie Tangled, by the way, where I taught some of my, uh, my past students how to draw. And let's move these cameras down here. Let's put a dot in the middle. This is the first time I'm drawing with the, these, this new camera setup, so I'm very excited about it. I'm going to draw, look, at, I make, it doesn't, look, it's a wiggly line. It doesn't have to be perfect. Let's just block it in. Let's just sketch it in here. I'm going to kind of block in where this goes right here. And I'm looking for, I had my my layout for what I was going to draw. Here it is. All right, so I'm going to start, I'm going to start with this eye. Let's start with this really funky eye right here. This is the marshmallow eye. So the way we do that is I'll block it. And let's, let's start right here. I'm going to draw, this will be the big eye. And this one's going to be, using a lot of overlapping to make it a soft kind of mushy eye. And so what I'm going to do here, let me, I've got to get used to this camera. I want to zoom. I'm going to, this is my Facebook camera. So I'm going to zoom in Facebook and I want to get that. So it's close up so you can see it. And oh, that, that's looking okay. Looking cool. I'm going to zoom out just a little. I'm doing, I have to do one camera at a time. All right, so I think I got Facebook going there, or the YouTube. That's YouTube. Ah, getting my cameras mixed up. But once, but once I get it going, it's going to look cool, and I'm going to focus it. All right, now let's zoom in on Facebook. This is so cool. I get the full camera. You guys get the whole treatment. And let's we'll focus on YouTube. All right. <clears throat> I'm loving this. Now, we have our eye, so let's, let's make it mushy, a marshmallow eye. Sorry about that. Off. I have a mute button there. All right. So now watch this. I'm going to curve this big lumpy here, big lumpy marshmallow eye, uh, eyebrow eyelid. Now th think, just pretend there's a center line here. Okay. So all the all the wrinkles that go to, uh, on this side that go to the left of this center line are going to go to the left. And now we're going to use variation. Variety is an important part. Some bigger, some small. Look, look, look what I'm talking about here. You see, some of these are big, some small, but there's they're, they're not the same. They're, we're using a variation. We're using variety. Variety makes it more interesting to look at. So let's put up here. I'm going to put a small little wrinkle. Maybe I'll put a double, double small, and then right here I'm going to put a big, bigger wrinkle. Now start. I'll jump down here, and down here maybe I'll put right away. I'll put a big wrinkle. And then right here, I'll put a small wrinkle and then one in the middle. Okay, we're going to make this really poofy. Now, over on this side, instead of having two small, maybe I'll just have one small. And then I'll have a big wrinkle. Down here, I'll have a small. 
and maybe another small and then a big one. So this, this one has less wrinkles than the other side. See, a little variation, a little variety. All right. So someone type in the text box. Uh, someone type. Now, how is the focus? I got a message saying on my uh, YouTube that my camera's not focused. Uh, I can push focus. How is that? Is the focus better now? And how is it going on Facebook? How are you guys doing on Facebook? Uh, oh, thank you, North and South, on YouTube for that comment. I appreciate it. And Jack, Jacqueline, my little brother James has joined us today. That's wonderful. Fatima, hello on YouTube. Tell me your countries you in. I know we have Scotland. I know we have India on, on YouTube. Hello, we have Portugal on YouTube. Give me some more of your, your locations. And let's see. Uh, Facebook looks great. Wonderful. Thank you, Diane. Uh, someone's asking, Linda's asking why I draw a goat. The goat. You can't draw it. And she also says she can't draw, stop drawing birds from our bird lesson. I love that. I love that, you guys. All right. Now, so we use the center line as a reference line. Thank you for your wonderful comments. I appreciate it. Also, thanks for keeping all the comments super turbo G kid friendly. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't like having my comments turned off. I like to be able to see where you're from. Scott Harvey from New Mexico. Jacqueline from Walla Walla, Washington. Uh, we have Facebook. Where are you from, Facebook? Let me know. Where are, you, where, where are we from? Hello, hello. And on YouTube, we have 21 uh, uh, viewers on YouTube. It looks like we have uh, 10 on Facebook. That's wonderful. Great to see you guys drawing. So... How many people are drawing with you on your at your home? How many people are drawing with you? I'm going to have this guy. I'm going to have him kind of looking down toward the center. So I'm going to tuck his. See, his pupil will be hidden down here. All right. So now I'm going to start defining. I'm going to start focusing my camera here. Hello, Michigan. Uh, Jacqueline has two people drawing with her on her login. How many people are drawing with you on your login? I love this that we have, you know, over the past 60 days, this is like day 60 of our COVID quarantine creativity, uh, cool, crazy, fun time together, our best hour of the week. Look at this. Katie Jal Shalupa has four drawing on her, uh, on her, and Linda has three drawing. We usually have about three drawings, so we have... We have about 100 people drawing with us this morning. It's wonderful. Sometimes we'll have as many as two, 300. Sometimes we'll have three people, right? So I'm just glad to have you drawing. I love it. It's always a little little uh, fun game for me to see how many. I'm gonna Maybe I'll put, do I want to make another pupil inside there? Do I want to make another pupil inside there? I don't know. I don't think so. I think I'm just going to make this this pupil all dark inside here. I was thinking about adding his iris in the pupil, but I'm going to leave a little reflection. The reflection does several things. It helps identify the direction your character is looking, and it also helps you um, make the eye look shiny, and it gives your character some expression. It makes the character look cool. Little reflections are cool. All right, so we darken that in. We darken that in. How's it? Hey, YouTube family, are you guys liking this new camera? Is this cool? Is this wonderful? I'm enjoying it. I love being able to actually work without having a tripod in my way. I love it. Sure makes my life so much more uh, fun here. Of course, it's day 60, and I discover how to do this. I want to get it. Maybe I'll get another one going. I have one more camera. I need one more. One more, uh, maybe we'll get another computer to do uh, the Instagram. That'll be really cool. All right, here. So we'll get this nice and dark. You get lighters we come across. Uh, look at this. I'm putting a shadow on the on the eyeball itself to begin with. Oh, look, we have a Tascadero, California. Linda, I did a summer camp. I did a really cool summer camp in a Tascadero. I loved it. I did it at your elementary school there 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Now, if you guys want to 
to do a, a week long drawing with me. Look at, find out, research, go to my website, check out the different times. I have time zones for Scotland, time zones for India, time zones for Japan, time zones for the East, East Coast and the West Coast. And the mountain time every week. I'm doing uh, 10 weeks of summer art camps. I'm so excited. It's going to be great. All right. This is so cool. I love drawing. This is our hour of pencil power. Woo. Do you guys love it? Someone say, someone type in hour of pencil power. Someone type in hour of pencil power. Hey, uh, sorry about missing yesterday. I spent hours and hours trying to. Figure out what what it boiled down to is I had to upgrade my computer system, so it was uh, after hours of trying trying to figure it out. And boy, now it's just working wonderful. You can hear me. Look at this. Fatima put in hour of pencil power. Thank you, Scott Harvey. Uh, are you still doing the private school YouTube's? You're talking about my uh, my live school my live webcast. If you guys would like me to do a webcast for your school, it, it, it really is just up to a donation for you guys. I'm doing, I'm foregoing the $2,000 uh, webcast fee. Just uh, just want to make sure all the kids are drawing. So we, we do a private YouTube link. And you have to send me an email, okay? Now, if I didn't respond, send it again. Be persistent. I'm really lame at getting back to your emails, okay? So be persistent. Thank you, Diane Kelly, for posting that on the uh, face on the uh, Facebook site. Look at draw with Commander Mark. Oh, okay. He said Commander, so I got to put up my old Commander Mark picture. Was I ever that young? See, this is this is me now. This is a picture of that when I was at NASA, uh, right here. That well, that's me before COVID, and then my son and I cut our hair really short. But look at how young I was. Well, that, that was the Secret City back in 1985. And then this is in the late 90s. I did another series called Imagination Station. And if you want to see this, this show, this show right here is on Amazon Prime that you guys can watch. If you, if you want to see it, you go to uh, right here, Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime right there. Okay. It's a good show, the, the uh, Imagination Station. All right, well, let's get, keep going. I'm going to, we have our marshmallow eye. The eyes have it. Now, I'm going to use my book, the, the uh, you can draw, drawing in 3D. I'm going to use this book right here. This is a great book. And we're going to draw the I, the letter I. And I want you guys to pick what style if the eyes have it, H-I-J, so H-I. So we're going to go to the page with eight. I'm going to zoom this out as far as I can get. You can see my two cameras here. I'm going to zoom this camera out. All right. So here we go. You can see both my cameras. See, using two cameras. Isn't that cool? All right. So here's a page in the book. This is three. This is a huge book. It's a wonderful book to get you guys from Amazon. Um, so we can draw the puff cloud eye, the peeling shadow eye, the chiseled stone eye. We can do, look at every letter in the alphabet, I do five variations. We can do the floating eye, or we can do the block eye. Isn't that fun? This is a fun drawing. Look at the encyclopedia book. We've done this one before. We've done the, the light bulb before right there. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to take these. We're going to do the puff cloud. Uh, now, this book is called Drawing in 3D. Drawing in 3D. That's a different book. Thanks, Diane. Diane put up the Imagination Station book. That's a good one, too. Yeah, Richard, I hear you, guy. I hear you, Richard. I hear you. Thanks for your comments. <laughs> and um, uh, look at the, the shadows. And look at the, the peeled shadow right here. Richard, I ought to give you the credit. You're the, you're the, uh, the most... Uh, uh, Relentless reminder of, of getting my book shipped. I appreciate those reminders. I got you, Richard. And you're, uh, you win the award for, for the most reminders. Thank you, thank you. So I have a vote for the block floating. I have a, a, a vote for that. I have a vote for the block. And 
And uh, look at all these little, look at the puff cloud and the shadow. And um, we're going to draw. So let's see. Let's see here. Uh, we're getting comments from YouTube. I'm seeing which one. Hey, Evan Larson, how are you? Uh, uh, hello, we think they're 3D. Well, you know what? Uh, and let's do look at all these different. I'm gonna, I'm thinking, let's do that chiseled stone. I'm gonna draw the eye. You can get the drawing in 3D from Amazon, and you could put as many, you could put as many, um, you could put, you can do as many variations as you want. All right, here we go. So I'm going to do the chiseled stone here. I'm going to zoom this in, and I'm going to zoom this one. Let's get back into our drawing. All right, now watch this. I'm going to focus these two. You let me know if it's not focused, okay? Now, we have the, we just drew a regular capital I, right? But now what I'm going to do is uh, you can do this with any letter in the alphabet. I'm going to take my pencil, and I'm going to frame it. So watch this. I'm going to draw. An eye. The eyes have it. This is. I'm just going to frame it, make it like a, a cookie cutter. Draw around the eye. You can do this with the any letter A, the Z, the T, the P. See, isn't that cool? So we do the frame. Now, from each of these points, look at this. From each of these points here, we're going to draw the thickness. We're going to make it a chiseled stone, like it's a, a rising out. So from right here. I'm going to uh, draw that, and right here, I'm going to make it pop out, and right here, I'm going to make it pop out, and right here, I'm going to make this pop out. See that? Go from the very, from the very tip here, connect it, and from here to here, look at this. You guys with me? Am I going too fast? Look at this. This is so great. Now, um, I have I have a vote to do the letter I, the floating letter I. So we'll do that one too. We're gonna do two of these, and we're gonna do, do two of the I ca characters. So I'm drawing the thickness from that top ridge. The ridge pops out. Isn't that cool? So now I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna detail it. I'm gonna focus the lens of my imagination. My pencil will help me. Define it will help me pop it out. So let's go ahead and draw the the thickness. Wait till we get the shading in here. And now I'm gonna just I'm gonna darken all the edges and then I'll shade it and then I'm gonna put a really interesting background behind it. Okay. Isn't this fun? Now what I'm thinking is let's put Back behind here, let's let's put like a, a cobblestone. Let's put like a cobblestone texture behind here. So I'm gonna do it by just putting little curved lines. I'm gonna put a bunch of little curved lines back here, overlapping lines, just overlapping. I just want to make it look like it's uh it, it's maybe on this uh, sidewalk in front of your mailbox. Letter I for for what? Letter I for intelligent. The intelligent household. Letter I for maybe the iguana in front of the iguana's um, mailbox for the iguana family. So I'm just going to put put in all this texture. <clears throat> Let's put a lot of these little overlapping cobblestones. That fun little little value. Uh, is it that cool? Now the wacky workbook was a drawing that I got a comment about my wacky workbook. That that's a book that goes with drawing in 3D. It's a it's a fun workbook. You can get it online, and I uh, co-wrote that with my brother, my older brother, Stephen. He and I did that together, and that was really fun. And he helped me do a lot of the story starters on it. Let's draw the. Draw. Is that fun, the texture? Now I'm checking out. Hey, Panzina, how are you? 
uh, Jack Alliance is my brother is going to, says I'm going too fast. Well, the good thing about these YouTube and the Facebook lessons is that you can watch when I post it, it'll be, it'll stay up there and you can watch it and pause it all you want, you guys. So how are we doing? How's the audio and how's the video going with our lessons? How's AV? Can you guys give me one more uh, technical check? Can you get me one more A A5, V5? How, how, how does it look, you guys? Let's see. I'm going to use this one. Can you guys give me a little technical? I love to see how it's going here. And also, I want to thank everybody for supporting me on my GoFundMe. This is if you're enjoying drawing with me these Hour of Pencil Powers, please go to GoFundMe and type in Mark Kissler's Kid Special. Mark Kissler's kids special and make a contribution if you're if you appreciate it you want to uh, help us out help our team keep uh keep on webcasting your contributions make all the difference in the world and apparently my cats are up here and they're they're climbing all over my feet hey thank you guys we're, we're just uh we're trying to uh raise on the gofundme just just a a portion of our monthly costs, and I so appreciate it. Attitude of gratitude, totally. And so many of you guys have have signed up for my for my uh, Draw 3D membership, and that's that is so great. Um, I, on the Draw3D.com membership, I have this membership here, and it's it's 500 lessons. It's 500 lessons, and I'll tell you what. During this time, I put a there's a code. You can take 50% off or you can use 75% uh, off. This is the code if you want 75% off. So it's usually a family membership for 200 bucks for 500 lessons. It's commercial free. It's really wonderful. Terrible. I love it. Thank you. I'm so proud of it. So many of you have, have signed up for it. Thank you. If you want, if you can afford the whole membership, great. If you can, here's a 50%. If you can afford that, here's a 75% off code to make it $49 for your family. So if you guys uh, want to keep drawing with me when these hour of pencil power, when I come to an end for my summer art camps, uh, you could, I, one, you could take the summer camp, which would be really cool. I got some signups. I have a signups in California. I got signups uh, for my Australian time i got signups for the families in india and i'm so excited i get to draw with you guys for hours not just one hour a day i get to draw with you guys and you don't have to stay for the whole three hours you don't have to stay for the whole you can just draw one hour or you can draw three hours with me it's up to you however many you want to draw it's up to you so i just love putting the texture see this someone type in texture Someone type in texture. Have any has anybody gone to the website to kind of explore the idea of my virtual summer camp? I've never done this before. It's my first time, and I'm just I'm just curious if you what do you guys think? What's uh, what's your opinion of that of taking the summer camp? And a lot of you have signed up for my re regular summer camps, and I have <coughs> uh, transitioned all my summer camps this summer from in person to my live my live summer camps and then to my uh, live webcast summer camps. So what's your opinion? What do you guys think about that? You guys like that? <laughs> All right. So we're having fun here. I'm putting lots of texture uh, on the, the ground. Lots of texture. Isn't that fun? So it kind of make it look like it's, it's lifted off. Now I'm going to keep my light coming from the top, right? So the lights coming from up here. Obviously, I always I always tend to put my light in the top right. So I'm going to shade now. And I, when I shade, I keep all the shading lines coming the same angle. Thank you for typing texture, guys. I love texture. Uh, and Scott Hovey uh, thinks the summer art camp idea is great. Have you guys went in and looked at my website? We put all the information on my website at markkistler.com. If you guys... If you guys want to see more information about it, there's my website, markkistler.com, right there. Okay. Pretty cool. All right. Now I'm going to use these. I'm going to draw my shading all in the same angle. See that? Isn't that cool? Do you love it? Do you love it? Love it? Love it? 
Do you love it, love it, love it? Someone type in love it. I love it. How are you guys? Do you love to draw? How are you doing today? Do you love it? Here, I got to do this in front of each camera. Okay, this is this is a little hello from my Clay Dopplinger to my YouTube. And then here's a little hello from to Facebook, guys. See, this is when you can, I can see in both cameras and then it disappears out of one. So I got to do that. This is really fun, you guys. I love having my new camera set up. Do you guys love it? Do you love it? Okay. Now we're going to shade underneath here. It's on, it's on the it's away from the sun. I'm going to do the first line all in the same angle. Makes the drawing look nice and neat and tidy. All right. How many of you have drawn many of the the 60 days? The 60 days of our pencil power. How many of you have drawn a whole bunch of them? Are you guys are you guys keeping a uh, a journal? Are you guys keeping a drawing journal? <coughs> the the uh, drawing uh, sketchbooks. I always suggest if you do get a drawing sketchbook that you if you do get a drawing sketchbook, I suggest you get one that has a spiral binding on it. Nice, lots of paper inside, blank, and a, or uh, some people like to have the spiral binding at the top. That's good. Any pencil will do. I just like the mechanical pencils. I like the uh, the this is PS209. I, it's a Pentel PS209 HB lead. That's a gold one, a gold color, and a blender and a stompy and a little dusting brush. And there's there's your there's your drawing kit. That's those are the five items you need, right? Wait, you need you also need to get this really cool book. I heard it's really a great book. <laughs> Do you love it? I hope you go reach out. Oh, someone uh, someone had asked about the Imagination Station book. This is the Imagination Station book. It's really a thick one. Really, really cool. It's a great book to get. All right. Oh, my gosh. I just got someone signed up for my Draw 3D membership. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And they took a 50% off code. Well, that was generous of you. Instead of taking the $49 membership, they paid $99. Thank you so much. Thank you, the uh, Liveris, Liveris family. Thank you so much for your membership. I appreciate that. You're going to love it. 500 drawing lessons. <gasps> Sorry, I got distracted. I forgot I had my delicious cup. Look at this. This is my, uh, cool. From Albuquerque, New Mexico. I have cups from every different uh, city that I've been to. From Dubai to Scotland to Albuquerque. It's my decaf now. I'm 100% decaf. It's a sad, it's a sad, uh, it's a sad tr re uh, truth of growing older. I had to cut out caffeine, but I still love my coffee. That's where I am. Oh, Scott, where are you from? Tell me what city you're from. Albuquerque. I uh, know I've never, I have never done a balloon ride in Albuquerque. I've done the hot air balloon rides in Seattle. I did the hot air balloon rides in Germany and Australia. I actually bungee jumped, jump, bungee jump from a hot air balloon in Australia, and uh, it was. Uh, uh, and now hey, let's take this. Now, now watch it. Put a shadow down here, a little darker. I'm working on this one a little bit more. I, I'm going to put a little more darker shadow right next to the. A little darker, just to kind of puff, puff it out, puff, push it out. Someone say, bam, kind of puff it out. Are you guys having fun? Are you guys enjoying yourself? All right. Well, there we go. One through ten. Give me a ten if you're loving this lesson. Give me a one if you're like, uh, I don't know. I'd rather just stare at the yellow duck. <laughs> this is one thing about, about this. I have to keep moving between the two cameras. But I love it. I love having room to draw. It's just a whole new experience for me. I love it. I'm going to smooth out the value. I'm going to leave the top, uh, put a little shadow here. I'm going to smooth out the shading. I love this. I'm going to smooth out the shading. I love my blending stomp. And there you go. There's the letter I. So we have marshmallow I. We have the chisel stone I. Now, this one 
this is going to be a really interesting one. I'm going to do this eye down here. I'm going to work on this square right here. So let's let's get these positioned here. I'm going to work on these guys right here. So I'm going to move these cameras around so I can see what I'm doing. And there we go. Now watch what I do here. Now I'm going to start with two eyes right here in the middle. Now this was a inspired by the movie Tangled. I had a lot of my past students. Some of my past students and my alumni helped develop the characters for Frozen. Here's a drawing that I did of Frozen. And some of my students worked on Despicable Me. And so I did a little mashup of Frozen. And here's some of my students animated Kung Fu Panda. Here's a mashup of Despicable Me. And King some of my past students worked on Star Wars. And the backgrounds, and they worked on uh, Toy Story. Some of my students worked on, uh, you know, the um, Big Hero, uh, Brave, Wonder Woman. These are some of those drawings that I created. And um, the the um, the Tangled was one of my favorite. The movie Tangled. You guys ever see Tangled? I love the Tangled. And then the Tangled with the you know Rapunzel with the long hair. Well, I'm going to put this eye behind here. So this was inspired from a, a poster, a movie poster of the hair, the hair coming in front of the eye. It, they had these eyes peeking out of the hair, and I just thought it was so cool. So I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw this group. of. It's, it's going to be really interesting. We're going to have some fun. Remember that old uh, game, that old toy called Spirograph? So then I'm going to have, I'm going to have a, a loop of hair coming up here in front. It's going to come down. It's gonna curve up like this. <laughs> All right. So now the more the more you draw, I'm gonna do, do these little patterns. Watch this. Watch this. I'm gonna draw, do a pattern. It's come together, and it's gonna come out here. All right. So this one on up here, I'm gonna have it come down, come up, and come down. So we're gonna create this really cool pattern of the eyes. The eye have it. Now I do want to get another eye up here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll have um, of some hair. I'm gonna do another eye down here. I'm gonna have another. See, I'm just gonna do it. Take my time and do a really fun pattern. A really fun pattern coming up here. Coming up, comes close, and then we come out. I'm gonna put this group of eyes. Maybe I'll put I'll put another set of eyes down here. Coming out here. And maybe I'll do another set of eyes back here. Look, I'll do like three eyes. So we're gonna put all this hair. See what I'm gonna do? This is what this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna draw a bunch of different eyes, a bunch of different patterns. And the we're gonna use this rep repeated line. So I'll come close and I'll go out and come back and close. All right, I'm gonna so I'll draw the other eye that's overlapping. So come in here, and you just draw a pattern over and over again. Ooh, this is a good spot to put one more set of eyes down here. I'm going to put one more set of eyes down here. So I got four eyes. All right, so I'll do here. I'm going to do another pattern down here. It kind of goes behind the eye. Look at this. This one goes right up over this one. Look at this. See, it comes together. It goes up. All right, so the, it's the the repeat. It looks really messy at first, but it's going to be really cool once you get the crossovers, once you get the thousand eyes. And I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to get it. I'm going to do one coming from back here. And this eye is coming behind the hair. And I'm going to just do more and more of this pattern here. See how it's a spirograph? All right. Now we can barely see this one. We're kind of losing that one in there, huh? So these guys are all looking. Put a little reflection. And the it, this one is the repeated pattern. Take your time and enjoy the pattern. And... It's layer upon layer, layer upon layer. So there's one eye. This eye, I'm going to draw these pupils. 
So this was inspired by the movie Tangled, the little eyes peeking out of all the hair. I don't did anybody see Tangled up here? Anybody? Okay, Mario. Uh, look at this. We love Mario's drawing. Well, he's down right now doing schoolwork on his computer. Hello. Uh, oh, you love Tangled. That's wonderful. All right. Now, I'm trying to see the comments on uh, YouTube. You guys are getting... Hello, Scott Harvey. I'm getting... Uh, oh, you cried at the end. Uh, hey, Scott, thank you for not spamming the, the text box. If you cannot uh, send so many uh, messages on YouTube, it's kind of blocking the other people from getting a chance. Thanks, bud. All right, so now back here, I'm going to draw a dark. I just want to draw more and more hair. I want to draw more hair coming through. I'm going to draw this hair coming through. I'm going to draw this guy coming up. Look at this. You just, do you see what I'm doing? I'm doing more and more. And then this one. So you just kind of develop the line, the flow of the hair. I love S-curves, right? Do you guys loving it? So now I'm going to darken this in. The eyes have it. Thank you for asking if Mario can do the last drawing. He, I'll, I'll let him know that. He, he'll get a kick out of that. He'll get a kick out of that. He's He loves coming on and talking with you guys and spending the creative time. Our hour of pencil power. Our best hour of the week. Now watch this. I'm going to do a little darkness right in there. I want to draw a little shadow right there. And I want this eye definitely to be in that area there. And then this is a good area to put a little bit of shadow as it twists. See what I'm doing? As the hair twists and turns, I get it kind of dark in the nooks. See that when it's overlapping? That making sense? What I'm doing, I'm creating this wonderful pattern. Remember Spirograph? Spirograph, you would keep twisting that little gear and it would make such fun patterns. It comes together and it goes out. And this one comes up and it comes near the eye. Oh, look at I'm getting all quiet here. I'm starting to concentrate. All right, so this is looking now. I'm going to do, I want this. This to open up a little bit here. All right, you guys love this one? This is kind of funky, huh? And I think I'll do, I'll make this dark behind here. The eyes have it. Um, looking up at my comments. Uh, yeah, this Saturday I'm going to do well, every Saturday for, uh, well, for sure next Saturday, we're going to do the uh, SLS. We're going to do the NASA Space Launch System. We have an engineer from the SLS team, from Artemis, te NASA Team Artemis. We have uh, artist Jack Moore. It'll be this Saturday at noon. Uh, we're going to have so much fun. We have, we're actually doing rehearsals with the crew on Wednesday night and Friday night. <laughs> I might even do a bit of it uh, on live on Facebook. We're going to do it on YouTube. Sorry, Facebook uh, folks. <laughs> we had to do it on one uh, on the YouTube uh, area. But I, I will post the link on Facebook for you guys. Do you guys like this? How many of you saw the NASA special? How many of you saw the Team Artemis, the Orion spacecraft? Did you guys do, did you draw with me with that one? Anybody draw with me on that one? Look at this. This is a great opportunity for another cool spirograph type of a swirl here. And then this right here, I'm going to darken this underneath here. Look, I get all quiet when I'm concentrating. 
Isn't that funny? Look at this. I'm just having fun with this one. This is this one just takes a little more noodling and doodling. Noodling and doodling. Noodling and doodling. And I'll darken that area underneath be between here. Noodling and doodling. We're just sketching it. <sighs> And I'm going to put a shadow under there. Oh, this is turning out cool. I'm loving it. I haven't done this one in years. And I was like, how did I do that? I forgot how I drew that. And hey, so what's the next eye do you want to draw? We're going to draw the eye floating, the letter I, the, the mushy letter I. What letter I are we going to do next? Anybody know? Oh, we watched it. Wonderful. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, I love these comments. <coughs> thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here, let's darken this in. Um, oh, I just can't stop this one right here. I gotta add a little bit more. How many, how are we doing with time? Let's see. Oh, good. Good. I got about 14 more minutes. So we're going to do another drawing. I'm just going to add a little more of my hair. I think I'm going to curl this one up. And uh, look at this one. I think I'll, I'm just taking this. I want to take these, these hairs and have them coming somewhere isn't that fun so this one curls up this one kind of curls curls around looking cool all right guys now i'm gonna take my stompy just a little stompy time here put a little shading on the eyes you guys having fun Woo! pencil power let's see how are we doing we got 31 on YouTube and on Facebook. I don't know. Oh, good. Well, we have 31. We usually have about three, so about 90 on YouTube and 13, about 40 on Facebook. Wonderful. Good to see you guys. Great to see you. Here, you can share these. You can share these webcasts with with uh, your friends and your family. This is our hour of pencil power. Now. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do the uh, since we're doing these letters. I think what I'll do is I'm gonna have the letter H uh, popping out of this. So this I'm gonna make the letter H make like a block. This will be our H for our hour of pencil power. But wait a minute here. Maybe I'll do a clock. See, maybe I'll do a clock for the hour. Let's see. Maybe I'll draw it like a, a clock coming out of the circle. Like a big, big giant clock. And then there's the face of the clock. And the now I'm going to make the time here. So the big hand, the big hand is going to be pacing this way. And then the small hand is going to be at the one. And so this is 12, right? Three, six, and nine. So then there's our clock. And there's our hands. And it's all, oops, I should probably put this, probably let you guys see what I'm doing here, move it down into the picture. All right. I just want to have like a, a fun logo for our hour of pencil power in the middle. So this will be our hour. <coughs> of pencil power and i'll darken that in i said i was going to finish this one i never i didn't I haven't finished remember this was on like last friday the jazz anybody draw this one we drew the different jazz horns and i never finished the bunny horn yet look at that the hour of pencil power i still have to finish that and post it so this one will be a clock popping out coming out of the coming out of the, the woodwork there. 
our hour of pencil power. Woohoo! That'll be cool. And there's our logo. Got to have our logo, right? Got to have our cool looking logo. And there's our clock popping out. Our hour of pencil power. All right. Uh, you Did you guys draw the bunny jazz horn? Did you love that one? That was cool. Well, this is lesson, lesson number going to be almost 60, right? I don't, I'm not sure the exact number, but you could, you can go to my Instagram page and count them up and see, and you can go back and you can rewatch them too. So I'm going to, I'll finish this up later. This is really cool. All right. So now down here, I'm going to draw the, uh, let's draw the hovering E. Now let's take a look at the source. Let's take a look at the source here. It's coming from, from this this drawing in 3D. So we're going to look at the letter I, H-I. Now, we have different eyes we can choose from. Okay, this is a great book, by the way, a little plug for my book. Um, we can do the poofy eye. We can do the peeling shadow eye. We can do the, um, the chiseled stone eye, the hovering eye, or the block eye. So it's up to you. Whatever, whichever one you want to draw. I'm thinking we'll draw the hovering eye, okay? The hovering the, the 3D one. So let me take my camera and I'll move. Let me move this. I'll move the Facebook camera. There we go. And then I'll move the actually that was yeah. Now we're gonna move the YouTube camera. Oops, I had this this mixed up. This is my Facebook. Right here. Yep, this is Facebook, and then this is YouTube over here. I got the cameras mixed up. All right, so here we go. Now, I'll, for the hovering eye, I'm going to draw the two dots far apart, and I put my finger in the middle, and I put a dot above and below my fingers. See, I'm going to draw a foreshortened square. This is an easy way to get to a two-point two perspective in your drawing. We'll just draw the foreshortened square. I'm going to put a horizon line down here. This is going to be our little horizon line. You're going to be standing here. This will be you, and you're going to be looking up here. Okay? This will be you. I'm going to have you here, and I'm going to have your feet. You're going to be standing down here, and I'm going to have you up here pointing, going, wow. Ooh, and you're going to be pointing. I'm going to draw you guys. Okay, so you're this little guy down here at the bottom. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see just a little bit here. And I'll zoom this in, and I'll focus that, and you'll zoom in a little bit on that one and focus that. All right, so there we go. Now, he's you're looking up, so he's pointing here. Whoa, look at that hovering letter I. Look at that UFI, unidentified flying I. Ooh, a UFI, unidentified flying I. That's funny. Uh, ooh, a UFI. I, I, that'd be a fun text box, huh? Ooh, ooh. A UFI. What do you think? Is that funny? Ooh. Look at that. Put a little text box here. All right. So uh, now this line's coming up. That's going to be longer. It's larger. It's a UFI. It's funny. I'm going to, uh, I don't like that text box. Uh, you know what I think I'll do? Sometimes you don't even need a text box. Sometimes you can just put do that and then put a line like this, see? And then do that. And you got it. Ooh. Oh. A U F. Unidentified, unidentified flying I. A U F I. Unidentified flying I. Or not you can make an igloo. An unidentified flying eye or an iguana. An unidentified flying 
Iguana. Ooh, a UFI. Oop, I pushed too hard. All right, now. I love it. Oh, uh, thank you, Pansina. We sure enjoy your your message. Scott Harvey, thank you. Jacqueline and Rowan, thanks for drawing with me, guys. You're doing great. Looking cool. Now, the top, see, this is this is longer. It gets smaller as it moves away. This is size. This is it gets smaller, comes down. Smaller comes down. Oh, I got a summer camp registration. I love being able to see these on my phone now that I can have my phone free. That is so awesome. I got a summer. I'm gonna put my summer camp registration up here. Thank you guys for signing up my for my virtual summer art camps. That's awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Go to my website, check out what time zone fits you. I have weeks for different countries all over the world, Australia and Dubai and Ukraine and Great Britain. And uh, now look at now, now, now I'm going to carve out the letter I. So I'm going to make this letter I. The sun's coming here. So what I'm going to do, I think I'll make the I come in this way. So I'm going to, I'm going to draw the top of the eye and this will be the bottom of the eye. See, I'm following the lines I've already drawn. This is the foot and this is the hat. And then here's the body of the eye right here. Do you guys see what's what I'm doing? I'm following the lines I've already drawn. So this will be the eye. See, I kind of cut it out because I sculpted it. See, it gets smaller. All right, do you see that? You guys with me? Give me a one through ten. Ten if you're with me. Give me a one through ten. You guys with me? All right, good job. Is it focused? You guys love it? I love my new camera system. Being able to see all the comments. Oh, this is great. All right, one through ten. Uh, let me see you guys on Facebook. Look at this. I can actually see the time now. Fifty-six minutes and forty-six seconds. We have three and a half minutes to go for an hour of pencil power. I'm so excited that we did it. We came back. I was a little boy. I haven't I haven't gone live in a couple days, and I can sure feel it. I got it's like getting on a bicycle and kind of working the kinks out again, huh? Uh, now, did you guys, hey, by the way, I hope everybody had a happy Mother's Day. It's amazing how many happy Mother's Day notes I got since I'm a single parent at home here. And, uh, that was very sweet being a, the mommy dad, right? So thank you for those. Did you guys all have a good Mother's Day? Diane, did you have a good Mother's Day? And. All you mothers out there, Katie Shalupa, did you guys happy uh, Mother's Day? I hope you guys join me this Saturday for the next version of our NASA, our NASA uh, Artemis uh, program. We're going to be drawing the Space Launch System. We're going to be drawing the Space Launch System this time, but I got to make a, I got to make a note to make sure I get that. From Amanda, I got to get a new uh, art card made up here for the space lot so I can promote it. Sun's over here. I'm going to shade the side, and I'm going to use uh, lines going the same direction. And there's my son. Did you talk to Miss Jarvis? All right, wonderful. Good. My phone died. Oh, did you? You had to get the plug. All right. You look cool in your glasses, Mister Mario. People are saying hi, Mario. Hi. All right, here, shade down here. Huh? Mm-hmm. Here. <laughs> here, shade down here. Yeah, Gord, the cats have been very the, the cats have been very noisy, huh? All right, here, shade down here. Shade, 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 guys. I'm gonna do that. It almost looks like wood grain. Almost looks 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 like I'm adding a, a different value here. Now, I'm going to make it like the sun is down here. The light's coming from this way, see? So you can see underneath there. I'm going to kind of do that. I kind of like that. I kind of like leaving that white down there. All right, well, there we go. Now, right behind, back down here, right along the horizon, let's add that 
you know how I like to add a, a, a dark area right at the very edge of the horizon line. Hey, look at Diane, Mario, Diane saying hello. He went back to work. He was on the phone with his teacher and his phone died. So apparently he had to come up and get his battery charger going. All right. All right, guys. And now we put a shadow on the ground. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. There's our hour. We've done it. We made it for our hour of pencil power. Thank you for joining me for episode number whatever number it is. It's over 50 and or 60. Thanks for drawing with me. I appreciate it. I certainly hope that all of you uh, save all your drawings. Post your drawings. Would you go to my uh, Facebook page and post it? I don't know how to use the pound. I should... I should start something like pound hour pencil power or something. I, I I haven't, I don't even know how to work all that, but thanks for signing up for my summer art camps. Thanks for considering sign up for my draw 3d. My, uh, and remember if you sign up for the draw 3d membership, it, it takes 75% off. Okay. There's the code right there. 75% off Kistler 75 off. Totally appreciate it. Hey, you can, uh, Pre-order one of my books right here. You can draw in 30 seconds. It's going to be awesome. Now, if you want to get the Hour Pencil Power book, now where is that? Remember, if you want to get this book right here, <clears throat> get this book right here, the Hour Pencil Power. I'm really excited about it. Go to my website at markkissler.com. Look for this logo. Look for that logo right there. And uh, let me zoom this out so you guys can see. Look for that logo, and you can uh, you can order the Hour of Pencil Power. All right, well, thanks for joining us. Thank you, guys. We love you. Stay creative. And remember, post pictures of your drawings. I'll put a picture of this when I'm done on Instagram and on Facebook, and you can make copies of it, okay? Thanks for drawing with us, guys. Bye, everybody.